Hello everyone. So I'm in my car right now. I'm outside the bakery here uh, picking up Zachary's cake and I have a great testimony of what this day's already been do doing so far. So today's Zachary's birthday. Yay! June 21st. He's the first day of summer baby. <laughs> so um, we were out of money. <laughs> It was all in the bank, and uh, Tim was trying to get it out for us, and he had waited the last minute to get money out, and I didn't have enough money. We knew this was coming up, and we couldn't get to our money because the bank that we use, their site was down just as Tim was going out in order to get money to go get a cake, and the place that we're getting a cake only takes cash. Yep. <laughs> so he rode his bike out to try to help me and come pick up the cake and uh, get some money out of the bank for it. Didn't work out, came all the way home, and he was frustrated, right? Because it was supposed to work. He had set everything up and, and transferred everything just before leaving. And he came back and found out, no, it wasn't uh, the internet. It wasn't just, you know, data on his phone. The site really was down and then he was frustrated because we had no cake and we had no money. <laughs> so we started praying. We, we prayed because it was time to pray together today anyway. So we started praying and um, just said, okay, well, it's going to work out somehow. Don't know. And we sat there, keep praying, waiting for the, for the site to come up. Didn't come up for a while. It was getting close to when I needed to leave, so I'm on time. And uh, Tim asked me if I had any money, and the joke is, I never have any money. <laughs> I have a few euros here and there sometimes, but it's not enough to, to get a meal out of. And it's barely enough to pay for parking garages at times. And uh, I have to look and see how fast I need to leave someplace based on how many coins I have in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> so he asked me, I said, mm, I think I have four euros and the cake is 16 euros. And Tim, he found five, seven euros. So wasn't enough. I was able to scramble and find a couple more euros, but it was like 14. It was uh, by the end of looking around um, between everything I found 14 euros and 50 cents, not 16 euros. It was still down. But um, while Tim, he went out, he was a he was a gentleman. He went back out there again and went to the bank again to try to find a bank because, you know, usually they have fees, right? Uh, <clears throat> attached to it, like five, dollar, five euros or seven euros just to get your own money out of the bank, right? So, um, he came back to the to the bakery and asked if there was any places uh, that you can take money out. And uh, while I was still trying to find some at home, which isn't very far from the bakery. And the lady told of a couple banks actually near here that we didn't know of. And while I didn't know what was going on for Tim, he ended up at one bank and they wanted seven euros and he went, mm, I'm not doing that. So he went to the other bank that he, she, he didn't even know existed here in this tiny little town. And he put his card in and it didn't ask for any money at all. It was cool. So we found another bank that you could take some money out and it doesn't charge you anything. So that was a blessing in disguise. And I kept calm. Uh, I said in prayer, I've been in worse circumstances. I mean, God has provided houses. He's provided residency in two countries by miracles, two houses by miracles, many houses for rent by miracles. Um, he's provided cars by miracles. He has provided uh, being at the right place at the right time. He's always provided. And sometimes I'm sweating it. I mean, really bad, but he always shows up. And so sometimes we get scared because we don't know how it's going to work out. And I didn't know if we were going to get a cake for Zachary today. And if he didn't get a cake, I would have to work on my attitude and say, well, something even better is going to happen. I don't know. <laughs> but God showed up. And uh, he blessed us with knowing where we can, where we have another bank 
that's closer to us than any of the other banks that we've seen that doesn't charge in order to get money out. So every time there is a crisis, it's an opportunity to go, okay, am I going to trust God or not? Is he good to me or not? Am I going to think that about God, that highly of God to let him show up? And if I get disappointed, am I willing to believe he still showed up and something even better is going to happen that I can't even imagine and that had to go away so he could put something else in there? We always have that opportunity. So this is going to be one podcast to share today and there's probably going to be a couple more. I'd really like to do one on Zachary's birthday um, and the idea of birthdays. Happy birthday to all of us. Uh, That one's probably going to take a while for me to get up because I'm going to have to do a little bit of video before and I would like to show you some of the party and then say comments afterwards and putting all that together. Uh, I don't know how to put videos together yet, so it's going to take, I'm on a learning curve. So we'll see if I get that to you today, but you'll get this today. And I also gave you the interview with Chris today as well. I had three podcasts I made yesterday. I saved one for today just in case it got too busy. But um, I hope this encourages you, really. Um, Really, in order to build faith, you have to be in situations to build it. And that's the times that things seem like it's not working. You need to believe that something is working. Not We don't walk by sight, uh, but we work by faith, right? So uh, when you're walking, realize every time it looks really bad, you have the pop- opportunity to practice in faith. And sometimes you'll still get an attitude and have to repent and you'll fall down on learning how to have faith. And sometimes you'll make it, but keep practicing. It's okay. It's okay if you don't make it the first time. It's okay if in the middle, you know, you exercise faith for a while and then you lose faith. And then you realize later God showed up or he didn't show up and, and, you know, you were devastated by exercising your faith for a while. Realize that's part of, you know, getting up and walking spiritually and falling down and trying again and being disappointed from our little perspective, you know, from our little child perspective as as a child of God and not understanding a lot, just as toddlers and, and little kids don't understand everything. Um, you know, hold on to dad's love. He really is there for you. you. If you believe that, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see things from his perspective and trust him that everything that's going on, he's protecting you um, or he's allowing to happen to help you to grow in something that will last for eternity and not just for this lifetime. So hopefully this is encouraging to you. I love you all. Okay, take care and keep giving me those that feedback. And if you want to send comments or give us comments, you can reach Tim and I on um, escapeallthesethings.com. And you can leave messages, obviously, here on YouTube. I build up, uh, Tim already has a following on YouTube, so I put it on Tim's YouTube uh, the on the narrow path because we're a team. We're one anyway, so it doesn't make sense to do anything different. Feel free to leave comments and, uh, you know, I'll use some of those comments for podcasts. So keep them coming. I'd love to hear from you. God bless.